Hi guys, it's the Lucha Media Geek here again for the Burns Redo. Um, I am here on a Wednesday. I wouldn't normally be here on a Wednesday. I'll be being um, replaced by the lovely Heather of Don't Take It Seriously on normal Wednesdays. But because there was a gap, I am filling in. Um, for those of you who saw my Monday night review, you'll know I didn't uh, review both Husk and Prowl. I only reviewed Prowl of the... Uh, the After Dark Originals double bill we're doing now because I've got a bit of spare time and a bit of spare s slot. I have watched the second movie and I have watched Husk. So here's my review. I find it very difficult, maybe it's because I watched the two films close together, to review um, Husk without thinking of Prowl, which is the movie I watched first. Um, I think it's because, like I said, I have watched them so sort of closely together. And I might find myself referencing Prowl quite a bit in my review. I'm just going to go out and say I wasn't as impressed with Husk as I was with Prowl. That's not to say it's a bad movie, but it just didn't quite wow me as much as Prowl did. Uh, as Jack said in his review, it's um, a bunch of teens on a road trip and they are attacked by crows and driven into a cornfield and then attacked by animate scarecrows and that's you know that that that's it and that was actually one of the strengths of the movie uh, the simplicity of it both films Prowl and and Horse because of the limited um, running times both were around you know the the early shade of the 80 minute mark they don't have time to mess around they're both quite efficient however Again, when I watch Prowl, I, and Prowl is a movie essentially about vampires, so we're not looking at an incredibly realistic flick, but as I said in my review, I watched it and thought, yeah, I can see the teenagers getting into that situation. Um, and again, in Prowl, there's an explanation as to why they're there on, on the road trip. For, for Horse, which was uh, directed, uh, written and directed by a guy called Brett Simons, what he doesn't do is he doesn't tell you why they're on the road trip, they're, they're just there. You don't know the relationship of these people. Um, again, they're, 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 and you don't even know are they in high school or college or are they buddies. I mean, you could say that's efficiency of storytelling, but I, I would have preferred to have some kind of context. The only real context you get is that one guy doesn't like the other guy's girlfriend. Um, when you know you dive into the story, which makes it a little bit difficult to care about the characters when they hit the plot. Um, good things about the movie is there is a real sense of momentum in it. There, there is a definite ratcheting up of the tension. And as Jack said, these films were made on low budgets, and they do make um, wonders with what they have. You know, end end of the day, the. They, ma they managed to make guys dressed as scarecrows in a cornfield look quite menacing and effective. I don't, I didn't find them quite as menacing as Jack did because I was reminded um, of the killer scarecrows in a season four episode of Doctor Who as I was watching it. But you know that's my baggage. The performances are fine. One thing that I did like in the film, whilst there aren't any really huge third act twists or surprises like there are in Howl's. Um, how Prowl, I'm sorry, there are some uh, interesting shifts in power in the group dynamic as the film progresses, um, which, which are quite good. Yeah, it just it just didn't really en engage with me, I mean, and I appreciated it for what it was, but for me, I, I wouldn't have said it had more uh, rewatch value. It's worth having a look. But of the two, I would say that Prowl is definitely the better. Uh, I'm sorry this is such a quick review, but I really just nothing really struck me or wowed me too much. I did like the fact that the explanation for these events is is quite, whilst it's not de detailed, it's quite involving, and that was strong. So uh, at the end of the day, I would give Husk, um, sorry to get all decimal on this, a 2.75 out of 5. It's it's not, you know, it's not bad, it's just not great. Um, I'm probably a little har harsher on on Husk, because as I keep saying, I have seen Prowl, and I have seen very recently what can be done on a, a low budget. But yeah, worth a look. And if you can get them both, get them both. But if you can only get one, 
My advice is get Prowl, it's the better movie. Um, other great reviewers are going to be sharing their uh, thoughts on this movie and they may be the same as mine and they may, may differ. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for subscribing and I'll see you.